And it's called writing and words. Alright. Before you get as mad as marsh hares, or crazy as coots, or cockeyed cuckoos, or monkey shines, or gnarly dogs over what I'm going to say next, let me just say this. I write for reasons unknown. I write for reasons untoned. I write for reasons to drone. The scintilla of an idea, the glimmer of a concept, stirs in me a longing to flesh out what often pulsates unrestrained in the hoard of red licorice like vines packed tightly in the old brain box. Writing is, the, writing is the only place I am allowed to be the local, ethically, loquaciously, revigorative, logomatically, suburbalistic, garrulously prattling word board that I am. Writing is for me what cocaine was for Richard Pryor, what sex is for those homeless <laughs> and indecent into, into whom we all hope and pray our daughters do not turn. Writing in words, words in writing, writing in words, words in writing. After a while, one starts to assume that what follows next in the wandering sequence has to be, has got to be writing in words. Don't assume, though. We all know that it'll just make an ass out of you and me. Got it? On we go. Writing in words are like truncated, irascible humans, anthropomorphic beings, as it were. The conjugal idea, first swirling and twirling and whirling and sterling and dirling in the brains of those two lusty parents who just had a drink and are ready for, as the Brits would say, a cuddle. Writing is next ejaculated violently from the periodic excesses of their patriarchs, born out of the motherly warm wounds of human mouths, laid ever so gently on the hospital sheets of parts of parchment on which, and here the human metaphor, they let out their first christening cry of sentence fragments and clauses and run ons Writing grows up. Words become bitter and bitter and bitter until at last they are better. The vowels lose, the lose their mnemonic price tag, allowing me to defenestrate with that IOU. Superlatives like best lose their, super, their immature sobriquets of bestness. Words reach puberty, develop deeper meanings, get deeper meanings, get more encompassing, become constantly hirsute, lovingly attractive, mysteriously riveting, and soon adopt personalities. Got it? On we go. Writing and words have experiences. Some maintain the same structure, some marrying other words, whilst others live in expatriated existence. Writing in a mural here, scrawling in a little known magazine there, but never really residing anywhere. Citizens of a little known town called nowhere. Hell, God only knows that the only place where success comes with what work is in the dictionary. Got it? On we go. Writing and words allow for the ostensibly alien encounters to reach far audiences, to reach you. Through what other fucking conduit would I be able to describe the viscerally stinging experience of being called nigger? Through what other medium would I be able to describe the comical time I preciously peed in the drain in the boys' bathroom at school simply because, and I'm quoting my in-school suspension slip, I just wanted to see how far I could pee. Through what other, <laughs> through what other channel would I be able to describe the holy euphoric feeling of getting acceptance to the gate program in elementary school? It is in this writing, this stop and start, perky jerky, pelvic thrusting, torturous terrain of syllables, where I've charted the best moments of my life. It is also in this writing where I've compromised some of the darkest moments of my life. Got it? On we go. Writing and words are lasting like a playground, at which I never grow old. We find that at this playground, hot dogs are allowed to grow cold. Dark rooms can be lit, nightmares can take place in broad daylight, while morning sickness and daydreaming can take place at night. Tomboys are actually girls. Boxing rings are squares, and glasses can be made of plastic. I write because I love the experience, the catharsis, really, the hubris, even. I love the moment that occurs when my fingers make both, both narrow and broad sweeping strokes over the lumpy canvas of my keyboard, chronicling the world around me, and I often sacrifice in the position in it. This is why I write. Woo!